bugs, man. Fucking bugs. And not necessarily bugs like, uh, you know, pretty crawly bugs. Parasites. Those are the only thing that I legitimately find terrifying. Um, you know, like, am I, you know, scared of other things? Yeah, like, every now and then something will get me. Or, like, <laughs> it's really funny. I'll psych myself out. I'll be, like, walking to the bathroom in the middle of the night. House is dark. And I'm fine, and perfectly fine, you know, I'm the only one up that late. And then my mind goes, what if there's someone behind that counter? <laughs> and then I'm like, no, that's stupid. But what if there is, though? <laughs> you know? I don't know, man. It's just something my mind does. I psych myself out all the fucking time. I remember one night. I was, uh, coming back from the bathroom. I go to the bathroom in the middle of the night because I drink a lot of water. Like, I, I'm, I'm the water on the nightstand guy. Anyways, um, it's five in the morning, by the way, right now. And I can't sleep. Not because I'm scared of bugs. I just fucking can't sleep, bro. But anyways, I was coming back from the bathroom one night. And, like, look. I am a grown man. You know, uh, I, I, I am a, I'm a brave individual, I consider myself, you know, I'm strong, I'm tough. I was like, what if there's something under my bed? <laughs> I kid you not, as stereotypical, oh my god, do you have my voice correct? That's how tired I am. It's like, my voice is just giving out. Anyways, as stereotypical... As a monster under the fucking bed. Are you serious, man? But I was like, what if there's something under my bed? So you know what I did? I jumped. I leapt for it. I jumped like four foot, well maybe not four foot. I mean, I wasn't like a fucking Olympic person. But I jumped like three, four foot. From like my doorway. All the way to my bed. And the fact that I did not, like, immediately break it in some way, that, good, good fucking quality. I mean, I don't live at that house anymore, and I don't, like, have that bed or whatever. So I can't tell you what brand it was or what, um, company made it, but it's good fucking bed, bro. Survived. Anyways, though, the only thing that does scare me... That's not just like, you know, your typical. It's parasites. My whole life, I have just been deeply unsettled by things that go inside of you. Okay? When I was very young, I watched The Matrix for the first time. Um way too young to be watching it. I had this, uh, relative that loved showing me movies way before I was ready for them, you know? I was, like, I was, like, I was, like, ten years old, and they were, like, hey, you wanna watch, um, oh, fuck, I'm drawing a blank now. It's five in the morning, like I said. Oh, my God, what is it, what is it? Food Fight, I think? No. It's... It's this 80s movie where, like, the guy yells Food Fight, and then they have a food fight. And, um... Family Guy Parried is it, where Peter is, like... Um... Peter is sneaking into the school to replace... I wanna say it was Chris's essay, or was it Meg's essay? I don't remember. Anyways, I'll think of it later on in the video and just be like, oh, who's the one? But anyways, he was that type of person who was like, yeah, you're probably old enough. I think, I think eight years old, you know, seven years old is a reasonable time for, like, The Matrix and, uh, fucking, I don't know, whatever other movies, but, like, 
all kinds of shit. Like, I shouldn't have been watching at that age. Um, there's a scene in The Matrix where they first capture Neo, who's not called Neo at this point, he's still called Mr. Anderson. I don't honestly remember what his first name was, but anyways, it's this little, like, one thing, and it burrows. I'm get, ugh, I'm getting uncomfortable even thinking about it, but it burrows inside of his belly button. Again, I'm trying here, yeah, I'm trying. But that has scared me to death. And just the idea of something doing that fucking terrified me. And then, um... Oh, and back to the movie. It was the movie where, like, the guy's getting spanked on the ass with a paddle, and he's like, thank you, sir, may I have another? Because it's like the, um... Frat, you team, you fraternity, uh, hazing, initiation, or whatever. Anyway, so, um, that just, that's fucking horrifying, dude. And then, at that relative's house, so I, I spent a lot of time as a kid there, um, I would go, like, spend, um, like, the summers there. And while they were at work, I was just left at home, and I would watch, you know, TV all day. Because, you know, I was... That wasn't the area I usually was, so, I mean, I didn't have, like, friends outside. So I just watched TV all day, because, like, fuck else do I do? And I would watch a little tiny show called Monsters Inside Me on Animal Planet. And if you guys watching this or anything like me... And happen to watch that show, you probably just shuddered a little bit, you know? <laughs> and, yeah, I would just watch Monsters Inside Me, and I'm talking for, like, hours at a time. They'd have, like, three, four episodes in a row that were, like, 30 minutes, but, like, four episodes, uh... Oh my god, I'm so fucking tired. Um, 30, 30, that's an hour. 30, 30, that's another hour. So two hours of uninterrupted parasites and various shit like that, okay? And then, at some point, I don't know exactly when, The Mummy happened with Brendan Fraser, and I watched The Mummy for the first time. And there is a scene in that first movie where they are, um, they're like first going into the tomb, and they open it up, and the scarabs come out, which are these little bugs. Um, a scarab is an actual real insect as well. But, um, these little bugs come out, and they, like, burrow into the guy's wrist, and then you can see them underneath his skin, like, falling around. <sighs> oh my god, this... It's just, it's inside you, like, what do you do? You can't fight that at that point, like, somebody coming at you, or even like a monster or something like that, coming at you, you could at least physically resist against it, you know what I mean? Like, horrible shit, you know, the predator, like, this dude. He's going to do some horrible things to you. But you could at least, for a time, you know, not successfully, unless you're Danny Glover, or, um, almost, or any of the characters, like, main characters from that those movies, you could at least, for a time, physically resist what is happening to you. There's no physically resisting that. And then the Alien movies came along. I don't know exactly when um alien entered my life can't tell you can't tell you like which one i even saw first um i remember i think my first introduction was the playstation 2 alien vs predator extinction video game is uh what it was called 
and I think that was my first introduction to AVP as a franchise. And then, um, I did, I'm trying to remember, trying to remember. I think at that time, um, both, like, when I was growing up, I grew up in the 2000s, so both AVP movies were, like, brand new to me, you know? And for some reason, they kind of just fell under the radar of, like, what I was allowed to watch. I don't know why, you know? Because, I mean, looking back on it now, they're, they're bad movies, you know? Um, but, I don't know, and even before I watched them, there was the video game that I talked about, which, you know, went in-depth about the chest posters and face huggers and stuff like that, and I mean, it's 2000, like, 2 P. I don't know if it was 2002, I'm just giving a random number, it was like 2002 PS2 graphics, so I mean, it wasn't like that horrifying. I actually might pop that in. I still have my PS2 and everything. I might pop that in, you know, just for good old time's sake. Um. Fuck, sorry. Anyways, though, um. Fuck, Tyler, come on. I knew the concept, you know? I knew that the chest versus, you know, came out of you. But, I don't know. And then. Here's where, like, I'm still terrified of all that stuff to this day. Um, I have seen Prometheus, like, five, six times now, over the years. And still, to this day, I just watched it the other day with, um, director's commentary on, because I was drawing a picture, which, um, by the way, I'll go get that arm. I drew this, I drew this the other day, um, it's like, simple, you know, I'm sure like most, you know, some people, like this, absolutely, much better out of it, out the, out of, out, out there, I'm not looking for any awards, but like, for me, that's impressive, um, but yeah, I put, I put on the, um, commentary, cause I originally put on, um, another movie, like, uh, one of the Predator movies, uh, commentary, or I was going to, but it didn't have commentary, so I was like, well, shit, so I put on Prometheus commentary instead, but, um, what I was bringing that up for is, uh, I've seen that movie, like, five, six times now, and I still can't watch the, um, the C-section scene, <laughs> Which, fun fact, that actually taught me what a C-section was. Um, well, I saw the movie, like, it came out in 2012, and I saw the movie, like, not, like, right when it came out, um, but, like, pretty soon after, I would say, like, I'd say I was, like, 13 to 14, I think, something like that, um, yeah, it was like either 13 or 14, I don't remember how old I was, but that movie taught me what a C-section was, because see, when you're a kid, like a 13-year-old kid, you know, whatever, and you hear the words C-section, and you know, like, it's taking a baby out of you, they're not natural way. That sounds horrible. I'm gonna get cancelled. I, I don't mean it like that. But I thought what it was is like... I'm gonna grab, um... Who, who has the least amount of stuff? This guy. Alright, so this is Jason Voorhees from the reboot. So I thought a C-section was... Uh -huh. You cut along the bottom of the stomach and then up and like make a C shape on the bottom of the stomach like a flap okay <laughs> yes I, I really that really is what I thought was like you cut a flap open and then you just 
reach in the bag of candy and you just pick up the baby. <laughs> so, um, that's not what it is. I have since been corrected because I, um, well, I asked my mom about it. I was like, is that how it's done? And she's like, you, t you fucking idiot, Tyler. <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, see, it's, I'm fine I, up until when she actually gets in the pod and, like, you see her stomach, like, bulge like that and you're like, there's something under there. And I actually had the thought the other day that, um, while I was watching the, um, the just got there, it'd be really cool is if with the um, adrenaline shot, like, I don't know if it was medicine or adrenaline, I don't know what it was, probably a concoction of both, but if she, when she went to shoot herself in the stomach with it, she accidentally hit the creature, and, like, it only went halfway into her because it was going into the creature, and, um, I don't know, I just thought that'd be really cool, but, you know, that's just me, and obviously that's something that I thought of, like, on the sixth time watching it, uh, like, not quite ten years, no, it has been ten years, um, twelve years after, to date the video, it's been twelve years since the release of the movie, and I just came out with it, so, I mean, groundbreaking stuff, anyways, though, the, the stomach bowl is just bad, sure, and the actual cutting is bad, um, and when the, the claw machine, you know, reaches in and pulls up the alien embryo, that's bad, it should. I can handle all that, though. Sorry. I can handle all that. It's when it pops. <laughs> when it pop, like the, the embryo breaks, and like, the the like, embryonic fluid that is, in like splatters, everywhere, and it goes back inside of her, and then she gets sewn up, with the thing. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Yo, it is so hard. It is so, so hot. But yeah, that's... I just... I wanted to make that video out. Because I'm... You know, I do get scared of stuff. And, like, when I watch scary movies, there are times where I'm, like, genuinely fucking terrified. Like, you know, speaking of... Terrifier. That movie fucking fucked me up. I was watching it, and I was home alone, in the dark... At night, at like 9 o'clock at night, and I just moved into an apartment complex. It's not the first time I've lived in... Yeah, it's not the first time I've lived in an apartment complex, but it is um, the first time in like a while, and I just moved into a, an apartment complex. I'm watching this whole movie that's like really fucking me up, and then I hear like doors opening and footsteps and shit, and I'm like... Kinda of getting a little spooked. Kinda of getting a little freaked out. Almost lost my cool there. <laughs> you know? But the only, like, concept... And, like, if Jason Voorhees was coming at me... He's not my only Jason. I'm not gonna turn this into a figure review right now. Um, but... If Jason Voorhees or any... Serial, that that scared me too, of course. But the only thing that, like, as a concept... Shakes me down my core and frightens me. It's parasites. Alien is so horrifying. Parasites are so horrifying. Monsters inside me had no business being on public television. Don't let, like, I don't know, man. I, I did not need to see that stuff, but I watched every second of it. I watched this one, and it was like this 12 year old boy who had a parasite in his fucking eyeball, bro. Like, literally, you could see it, like, floating around on his eye, 
and like the kid had to get a like syringe stuck into his fucking iris to like slope it out. Oh my god. <laughs> it fucked me up, bro. <laughs> but since then, I have actively like sought out alien like media, the movies, the games. Um. I've not necessarily gone back and, like, well, I did go back and watch The Matrix, but, like, not in a conquer my fears kind of way. It was actually, uh, um, realizing my fear kind of way, because I had this thing with, like, people touching my belly button, which comes up way more than you would think. Like, it's really weird how much, like, maybe it's just, like, you know when you get, like, a new car, well, not everybody just gets a new car, I certainly don't get a new car. But, um, you know whenever, like, somebody gets a new car, and then you start seeing that new car everywhere, even if it's, like, the most random-ass car, you're like, oh, hey, there's a Ford Focus. Oh, hey, there's a Ford Focus. Oh, hey, there's a Ford Focus. I think that's, like, what it is. It's gotta be, because I swear to God, like, the subject of me having to explain to people, don't touch my fucking belly button, comes up so much. So much. It's like, it's not that hard of a concept, it's just something I really don't like. And, I've recently watched, um, the Matrix movies. Because I haven't watched these movies since my relatives showed me them at, like, fucking, like, six, seven years old, whatever. You know, so it's been a long time, so I went back. Oh, he also showed me Kill Bill at, like, the same time period. Like, there was just, like... I don't know, it was, I guess it was his idea of, like, hey, you gotta learn the classics, you know, here's Kill Bill, The Matrix, um, I was really hoping to come up with the name of that movie, is it Food Fight? No, that doesn't sound right, it's like, there's also the movie where, like, he's, uh, he's on a ladder, right? And he's, like, looking through one window, and I forget why he was looking through the window originally, but then he, like, shimmies the ladder, ladder as loudly as possible from, like, one window to the other window, and it was, like, this slumber party where, like, these girls are, like, talking and stuff like that, and they're, like, all shirtless, and, <laughs> I don't know, man, it was, and, like, of course, like, I didn't get my eyes covered or told to go out of the room or anything like that. My relative was just like, ah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I literally turned to them and I was like, should I be watching this? And they were like, ah, you're fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I had a I had a perfectly normal childhood, I assure you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, actually, no. No. Um... What was I talking about? They weren't the one to show me Alien. My mom was. At a, re at a much more reasonable age of, like, 15, I think. You know? I think 15's a fine age. Uh... Fuck. What was I talking about, man? Um... What was I talking about? Aliens are scary... Parasites are scary, um... Stuff... Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm gonna pause. I don't know. I can't remember what I was talking about. This video is getting a little long anyways, and I've pretty much made my point. Um... Yeah, things inside of you are scary. That's the only thing that, like actually scares me, like, as a concept, as a phobia, you know, and not just, like, a rational real-world reaction, or a irrational me psyching myself out by thinking, there's a man over there, you know? Um, so, yeah. Uh, once I eventually figure out how to, uh, once I eventually figure out how to get, like, the little title cards and stuff like that. Maybe more of my videos will show up here. 
you know, when they tickle their balls. <laughs> um, subscribe, like, comment, I'd really appreciate it. I know, like, my videos aren't the most visually stimulating. I mean, I'm practically sitting in a fucking white void. I need some posters. I'll, I'll start hanging up, like, I do have them. I'll, I'll hang up some of my posters and stuff like that to try to, like, at least give people something. I actually have this really badass blade poster right behind me. I pull it out, but it's very difficult to get to. Um, I mean, not really. I just simply don't feel like it. But, um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Um, dislike it if you dislike it, you know. And give me, give me some tips or whatever, like, you know. I try to make some of that more interesting by, like, you know, walking around or going through the woods or doing something. Maybe I'll do more of those. But, um, yeah. I've been scavenger of views. I think I'm gonna draw a picture or something. Oh, and, um, just one more. Again. I, I know it's, like... Like, some people, like, I know it's not, like, the most impressive thing in the world. But, like, again, for me, I like it, and I, I just did that with, like, a pencil. Well, I mean, then I'm obviously colored pencils as well. But, like, I didn't trace that, I didn't, um, I don't know, I just looked at a picture and was, like, I feel like drawing the predator today. I don't know. But, yeah, I've been scavenger. Um... Like, comment, subscribe. You can find me on Instagram. I don't post there as much as I probably should. I don't post to you as much as I probably should. But that's, um, that's about it. Alright, bye. Love you guys.